Hey YouTube, Phil and Florence. It's July 4th. Uh, a hot July 4th. It always is. You know, it's middle of the summer. 95 degrees. But it's getting late in the day. It's probably about 6 o'clock, a little after. And I, I waited late on purpose for the sun to get down because it's you can't hardly stand it out here. But on today's cook for the fourth, we're just gonna do some burgers and dogs. Just me and Miss Janet. Uh, I got something special I wanna show you though. Here a couple of months ago, Kevin over at the Holler Barbecue celebrated his 3,000th subscriber uh, celebration. And he had a giveaway. And yes, I won that one too. I was on a roll back then. <laughs> I don't think I'll be winning anymore for a long time. I just have that feeling. But anyway, after winning several other real nice gifts, he notified me that I had won that one and I had totally forgot about it. But I couldn't believe it. And it was a special grate <clears throat> that was like the one he had recently purchased from the burn shop. And uh, Keith Winnegar is the owner of the burn shop look it up online and they do wonderful work and they can make a great to fit your kettle your WSM or probably just about any kind of grill you have all they need is the dimensions and the design of your choice and they can put it on that laser cutter and the, through the computer probably and cut out precisionly anything that you can draw but um, so, as a winner of that giveaway from Kevin's channel at the Holler Barbecue, I sent him my design. And you know, during college football season, I'm always talking about Gamecocks and Clemson Tigers. So, seeing how my channel is Phil and Florence, and we're big college football fans of Gamecocks and Tigers, I'll show you what I did. I'll show you what Keith Winnegar at the Burn Shop did for me. Phil and Florence, Gamecocks, Tigers for Janet, house divided. So I'm getting ready to put some oil on this thing and fire this kettle up and season this thing and then we're going to turn right around and do some burgers and dogs on it. First time. You stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, I'm, I've soaked this down with oil, pan, or canola oil. Yeah. And we're going to fire up this kettle, this charcoal. I've got a chimney of, of red hot charcoal I'm going to pour into there and we're just going to let it get hot, season up. I'll be, we're just going to let the temps build and let the seasoning begin. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes, it's been up to about 450 degrees. Looks like it's darkened up nicely. We're going to finish curing it up by cooking on it. I tell you what, this little dragon wing is the thing to have if you've got a kettle and you don't have a table with it. You can, you have a place to put your stuff. Put your stuff. Let's put some burgers on it. Yeah. And of course, I wouldn't be right if he didn't have a few dogs hanging around, you know? Let some butter go down right there and see what happens with the onion. I'll try to keep it, keep it in play. I won't try to fool with them a lot, you know what I'm saying? 
just leave them alone and let them do their thing. Y'all go on over to see Kevin over at the Holler Barbecue and subscribe to his channel and tell him I sent you. Thank you, Kevin, for such a wonderful gift. And I'm thinking about doing the same thing when I hit 3,000 subscribers. That'd be nice. So, Keith over at the burn shop, look for another order in a little bit. I think I'm up to about 2,500. So, hopefully it won't be long. Somebody else will be a lucky winner, and it won't be Phil in Florence. <laughs> Stick with me. Okay, it's been about, I don't know, 15 minutes at least. I've rubbed a little butter. On the onion, I just flipped the hot dogs over. Looking good. I thought I'd check these hamburgers on the other side. Oh yeah. It's not even flaming up, flaring up. I like that. I like that a lot. Looks good. That looks good. I might move that one from the outside right here. You know how grills are. Some areas are a little hotter than others. Thought I had the charcoal evenly dispersed, but this must have more of the new charcoal. Yeah. All right, let's check these onions. Without breaking them all apart. Yeah, they needed turning. A more SPG on this side here. Matter of fact, just for the heck of it, I might just rub a little butter on this side. Just for flavor. Mm-hmm. I tell you, I don't do things uh, by the book. I just do what I want to do. You know, while you're grilling, you just try new things. You know, might stumble up on something that tastes good. Okay, we're gonna put some buns on. These are Hawaiian sweets. Throw a little butter down. No rhyme or reason, just do it. Back. I might trade places with that one. It was plenty hot earlier. Oh, that didn't take long. Here's my last little touch of human hands upon the meat. Some cheddar cheese. Nothing fancy, just cheddar. Nice thick slices of cheddar. The hot doggies are looking good too. It's time to take this stuff up. Woo! I didn't plan quite big enough. I'm just going to grab them and chunk them right there. They look good too. Chuck doll. That last one. After three of them was hot. Woo! Check that out. Fourth of July, 2018. Burgers and dogs. Let's go inside and build us one. Let's build a hamburger and a hot dog. Okay. Open this up. And let's put some... I know some of you are Mayo fans. Most of you are Mayo fans. We use both. We use mayo and that other thing that may, real mayo fans hate, but it's all good. We'll smear a little bit of that on there. Put a little mustard on the other side. That's just the way I do it. Okay, I'm just using my hands. My hands are good. I'm going in with a nice patty. Here are those onions. These are cooked onions, grilled onions. I like both. And a raw onion. I'm an onion man. You got to understand, I am an onion man. I've got lettuce and tomato right out of the garden. Phil and Florence garden. 
a little lettuce and I usually put a lot of black pepper on mine because I love black pepper. Some of you guys out there like black pepper and some of you don't like no pepper. Okay. Whoa. I got that. Check that out. <laughs> Let's go in for a big old 4th of July bite. One more time. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boy. That is so good. And I'm talking with my mouth full. Real quick, let's make us a, a hot doggy. Grab him with my fingers, y'all. Put a little mustard. A little French's. Got to have mustard on a dog. A little bit of chili. Good hot dog chili. And then we have some chopped onion. You know what? Something I've bragged about in the past and we don't have it sitting out here. You stand by. Can't fix a hot dog without this stuff. Not in this house. This is the secret weapon, vegetable relish, chow chow, whatever you want to call it. But it's homemade and got peppers, onions, green tomatoes, and a bunch of other stuff. But, uh, you're talking about good on a hot dog and you can make this cold, this is cold, I say cold because it's not hot with a lot of hot pepper. You can make it hot. Okay guys. This is a 4th of July hot doggy. Let's go in for a big old bite. Mm. Yeah, and y'all be sure and go over to check out the Holler Barbecue with Kevin. He does a fantastic job. You'll enjoy all his good videos. And don't forget to go by the burn shop and pick oh, you up. Griddle, great, from the burn shop. You get a little bit of both worlds of charcoal burger plus uh, griddle burger because it's got wide bars in some areas. Didn't flare up on me. There was no flare ups, no, nothing on fire. And you see how nice the dogs cook down. Uh, I love that thing. So I wanted to show you this little clip before I shut it down. I hope your fourth is good. Spend some time with your family, celebrate, and be safe. Phil and Florence out. Janet and Florence out too. Happy fourth, y'all.